Welcome to Vintage SF. I'm Richard Rempel. Today we're going to start a brand new series. You've heard me talk about the Ace Science Fiction Special Series 1. Well now we're going to take a look at the Ace Science Fiction Specials Series 2. Series 1 ran from the late 60s into the early 70s. Series 2 runs from 1975 to 1977. It has 11 books. Let's take a closer look. Taking a look at the first book in the series, From the Legend of Beale by Mary Statton, we can see in the design that they have a starburst here at the top. They have a science fiction special. They have that this is the first book in here as well. If we take a look at the spine, we can see that the number there as well. So we have 11 of these books. And we can also see that Ace Books now has this rounded A as their logo. And on the back, we have a description of the Ace Science Fiction Specials and a blurb for the book itself, along with some word art at the top with authors that have appeared in Ace books, but not necessarily in Ace Science Fiction Specials. So let's take a look at the description here for the Ace Science Fiction Specials. Ace Science Fiction Specials have brought into paperback such classics as The Left Hand of Darkness, Picnic on Paradise, Rite of Passage, The Jagged Orbit, and A Wizard of Earthsea. This tradition of selecting exceptional works by well-established masters, as well as by talented newcomers to the SF world, is being maintained by a numbered series of novels making their paperback debut. These works, chosen for their high quality, are the classics of the future. So they had high hopes for Series 2. In Series 2, we have one author returning from Series 1, and that's Bob Shaw. We have Orbitsville, and it's the number 10 in the series. Otherwise, all other authors are new to the series. Before going any further, let's take a look at the cover art for these 11 books. Perhaps the most notable book in the series is The Invincible by Stanislav Lem. Let's take a look at Internet Science Fiction Database to see the information about the series itself and to particularly look into this book. Here's a screenshot from isfdb.org for the Ace Special Series 2. On this listing we see the date of publication. By the way, if you see month zero and day zero, that means that the month and day are not known. In the publication series numbers, we see that number four is listed before number three. That is because there is no month known for the Invincible, but we do have a month known for Endless Voyage. As you go across the top here, you can see the price for the books, the pages, and they're all paperback novels. Not all cover artists are known for the series. Dean Ellis is the primary artist for the series, and it is suspected that he is the cover artist for some of those that aren't specified. Now you'll see that From the Legend of Beale by Mary Statton is published twice. So obviously there is a reprint. One of the things you'll notice is on the price, there's $1.25 for the first printing in 1975, 
and for the printing in 1976, it's $1.50. You'll notice as well that the Invincible also has a second printing, and the last one is not known. The first printing is $1.25 in price, and the last one is $1.50. Let's take a look at the copy that I own. You'll notice here, you'll notice that the price is $1.50, so this is the second printing of the Invincible. Here is the information for the first printing of the Invincible. One of the things that I find interesting is in the notes. It's translated by Wendane Ackerman. This is the first paperback edition of the 1973 English translation, but that's a translation of the 1967 German translation of the 1964 Polish first edition. So in other words, this is a translation of a translation. So when I get to reviewing this novel, I intend to take a look at the translations. Are there some that seem to be more accurate to the original? Now, the editor for Series 1, Terry Carr, had left Ace Books in 1971. This second series ran from 1975 to 1977 under the in-house editorship of Albert Dietsch and Pat Labrato. There is very little background information for the series readily available. If you know something about this series, I'd love for you to comment below. So be sure to subscribe and follow my playlist for the Ace Science Fiction Specials Series 2. I'll be reading through this series over the next couple months. Until next time, keep reading.